Hello and welcome to Sue's in the Shed and today I'm going to show you how to cover a polystyrene wreath ring with crochet. So for this tutorial you'll need a polystyrene ring whatever size you like because I'm going to show you how to make it to measure. Um, it can be a half ring like this one or it can be a full ring. The technique's exactly the same. You need your yarn and you need a crochet hook. And I would suggest that you take your crochet hook down a size than you normally use because what you want is you want a nice dense fabric. You don't want holes in it so you can see your polystyrene through. So if you're like a baggy loose hooker, you need to take it down even maybe a couple of sizes. So I'm using a double knit yarn with a four millimeter crochet hook. So the first thing you're going to do is we're going to make a chain that's going to wrap around the ring. just keep measuring it and you want it to be maybe about two stitches too big and we're just going to measure it round like that so if you can see me fetching the join together there I am about two stitches too big so that's perfect so we're going to double crochet into the third chain from the hook. So you count across, one, two, three. Hook in, yarn back, yarn round, two off. We're going to do that all the way across. Okay, so we've double crocheted all the way to the end and we're just going to check that this piece still fits because what we don't want to do is do a big length of it and it's too short. So just wrap it around again and see if the ends meet, which they do. Perfect. So now what we want to do is we want a full length of double crochet that's going to be long enough to wrap around the whole circumference of the outside of the ring. So this bit will take a little bit of time. Now, normally with a double crochet, the turning chain is two, and then you work it so one, two, and you work into that second stitch there. You don't go into the base of that stitch because that chain two equals that stitch. We're going to do it slightly differently. We're going to chain one. This keeps a much neater edge, and we're going to work into that very first stitch. So the chain one was just to turn. You work into the very first stitch and then each stitch across and you're going to do that on every single row until the length is the amount that you need to go around the whole circumference of your wreath ring so that might take some time so i'll be back soon and here's my length of finished double crochet and um, as you can see the edges are really nice and neat from that technique of chaining one and then double crocheting into every stitch and this goes round the whole of the ring circumference, like that. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to join these two edges together. We're going to sew these two edges together. And what I've done is I've left a nice long tail when I cut my edge off. I mean, it is quite a long one, so it's going to really get in my way. But I'm going to need it for joining the rest of the of the ring together and we're just going to do a little whip stitch so one one into each stitch so pick up your next one and your next one one stitch one stitch so you're picking up one stitch from each side one and one get rid of that cat hair One and one and do this all the way across so when we've got that all sewn up and you should have one stitch for one stitch all the way across so it should be nice and neat turn it the other way in so the seams on the inside that's barely noticeable now at all and you're going to pop your wreath ring in so it just sits like that and my needle's still attached I didn't break anything off we're just going to go in from one side and back again. And we're just going to pick up one stitch from that side. 
visit that tail and we'll come back so it's one stitch and one stitch now I might say these stitches because this yarn's variegated so it's not going to match the colour but hey I can't be finding different yarns for every row of this so one stitch to one stitch one from that side one from that side and you're going to do that all the way around and keep it row by row try and match them up and then you won't get any bagginess at the end it'll just be nice and neat so once you've sewn all the way around you should have something that looks like this i'm not overly happy with the color of those stitches so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to give that a little twist so if you can see the stitches sit on that back panel and then that means that'll go against the wall when I hang it up. Nobody will ever see it. There we go. So now all you've got left to do is to decorate it. So you can make some crocheted flowers. You can um, make a little crocheted emigarami creature or animal or something that can sit in the middle like a little swing. Or, I mean, you can leave it like that if it's a really lovely yarn. Or you can stick buttons on it or you can make things in felt. The choice is yours. Enjoy!